thanks for watching the video. Our today's topic is how to prioritize user requirements using Kano analysis. This is the outline of what we are going to present to you. The first thing is why we have to prioritize requirements. What is Kano analysis? How it works and how it is applied in software development. Why we have to prioritize user requirements. Basically, we need to understand the customer's need and we have to be cost effective. Moreover, when we prioritize user requirements, we can deliver the right features to the customer in a timely manner and at the same time we can improve the quality of the software. Next, what is Kano Analysis? Kano Analysis was developed by Professor Kano in the 1980s. It is a powerful technique to understand the customer satisfaction during the product development phase. To understand how Kano analysis works, we are going to use this model to illustrate the idea. The x-axis represents the level of completeness of a feature. As you can see, the right hand side indicates a full level of completeness of a feature. The left hand side indicates the features is not included in the system. The y axis represents the level of satisfaction from the user. The top one indicate a 100% satisfaction from the user. The bottom one indicates the user totally dissatisfied with the feature. The green curve represents the basic features which are supposed to be in the end product. Adding these features into the product doesn't improve the level of satisfaction from the user. However, if you don't include these features into the end product, it will make the end user really dissatisfied with the result. The blue line represents the performance needs of a product. The more you add these features, the more satisfies the user feels about the end product. The less these features are included into the end product, the less satisfied the user feels about the product. The delighter curve represents the features which will improve the user experience about the product. The more you add these features into the product, the better the user feel about the product. However, if these features are not included, it will not affect the user experience. The gray area represents the features for which the end user feel neutral about whether you want to add or you want to discard those features the user do not have any objection about that besides what is presented in the graph there are two more categories the first one is reverse which represents the feature that the user do not want to have in the system. The second category is questionable which represents those features which 
the user do not have a clear understanding about. Now I'm going to talk about how kernel analysis is used in software development for prioritizing user requirements. By using similar categories, we can group user requirements depending on the level of importance of each requirement to the end user. But the problem is how we can categorize a particular requirement into the right column. It is very unlikely that the end user can prioritize their own requirement by themselves. Hence, you need to find out a way to get the correct answer from them to prioritize the requirements correctly. One simple solution is to ask them the following two questions. The first one is how do they feel if their features is included in the end product. The second one is how do they feel if the features is not included in the end product. The first question is regarded as the functional form of questioning. The second one is regarded as the dysfunctional form of questioning. And for each answer, we have five different levels like expect, neutral, live with, or dislike. Now I'm going to give you some examples. The first one is creating PDF files from Microsoft Word. This can be a delighter feature. If when we ask them how do they feel if the feature is included and they choose it like as the answer. And when we ask them how do they feel if the feature is not included and they choose it neutral as the answer. The second one is having longer phone batteries. This can be a performance need. If we ask them how do they feel if the features is included and they answer like as the answer and when we ask them how do they feel if the features is not included and they choose this like as the answer. Similarly you can apply the techniques for other examples. As a quick way of prioritizing the user requirements, you can use this table to check their requirements. Coming back to our earlier example of creating PDF files from Microsoft Word, as I said earlier, if the user selects like for the functional questions and if they select neutral for the dysfunctional questions, it would be a delighter feature.